evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Um, those on WhatsApp platform, may you please share the link of this live stream. Um, take somebody in comments, take your friends, take your loved ones, share the live stream on your timeline. Um, we want to, would like to talk about the word of God tonight. We are going to be talking about the word of God. Um, I know pretty last time when we had, um, the live stream about midnight prayers i had promised Kuti i will come with a uh, part two of that teaching yes i will still bring that teaching but i just felt compelled uh to teach um about the word of god the reason being um vashinjivedu tiriku urasika vashinjivedu we are being misdirected because Atis kuziva shoko ramari, atis kuziva kutimariva nomboti, atis kuziva um, kuti what does the word of, what does the word of God say um, pertaining my situations at nenge chisanga na na omu upenyu. Chino kundikana kuzosera shoko ramari kuna mari simply because we don't have the word and we don't know his promises and we don't know what he says about the situations that will be in. Saka chino pezira taa kuchaga help kunjimbo zisiri zo taa kuchaga help kunjimbo zisinga tipe the help that we will be looking for. Newe ye kuti atizive kuti mwariwa nenge vachitichi atizive kuti mwariwa ka promise achi pa upenyo wedu jichende rana nema situations at nenge tichisanga na nao so this is the reason why um, I would like to talk about the word of God um, so it's, it is going to be a teaching as well it is going to be a teaching as well um, I'm doing this after realizing kuti kajinji when we meet here on this platform uh is our concentrator on warfare prayers um yet maybe for somebody uh those warfare prayers can mean nothing especially when they are babies uh in the word of god when they are babies in christ uh, my prayers are jirukumbo famba say jiruku 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 vira papi so i think jaka kosha kuti titange taziva shokora mari uh because it is the word of god that will make us grow uh, spiritually it is the word of god that will make us grow in spirit and it is the word of god that will, that is going to become um a major weapon in our warfare and in our battles so i've decided to share about the word of god reason the reason being what i've said and the reason also being could seem we want every Hana to be equipped with the word of God. We want every Hana to have the word of God running in his or her veins so that uh, partner Sangana Nema situations will know how to fight and how to handle those situations, not um, physically, but spiritually. Um, Basing on the word of God in Ephesians that says, uh, for we do not fight against flesh and blood, but we fight against principalities and powers. So having known that we are not fighting uh, against flesh and blood, which means we do not fight our battles physically, uh, but we fight against powers and principalities in the spiritual realm. It means uh, the, the word of God is the only weapon that is going to help us to fight those battles. It means the word of God is going to become the sword uh, which we are going to use to fight our battles not physically because the also van washinji to no pezira tichir wa hondo um spiritual battles physically um this is the reason why i said i decided to share about the word of god kunevan wakawanda wakaenda ku kuzinganga wakaenda ku mapronganga maybe wakanoshika wakaudzi wotimuroi wako ndi ningi wakanoshika wakaudzi wotimuna rukita wotishunjwa kwa jisai taka na wotindamai wako uchibwa iko kwa wakabu wa shika wakatanga kudindamai wakabu wa shika wakabatira baba mnini demo yet the bible says we do not fight against flesh and blood but we fight against powers and principalities so 
if we have the word of God in us, we are not going to fight our battles in the physical. We are going to fight our battles in the spiritual realm. We are going to fight our battles using the word of God and we are going to fight our battles in the prayer room. Not kuchinja na mashoko, nevanu, not kubatiravanu matemo, not kutanga kutumiravanu ma message, uchiva popotera ndi makanti roya, ndaka singenda inda kumporofita kandu zoti mimi ndi maka singe madai. That is not the proper way and that is not the right way to fight these battles and actually you will not be fighting uh you you will just be worsening the situation so i'm going to share about the word of god i'm going to give a teaching about the word of god tonight so maybe we may need to know kuti what is the word of god what is the word of god in the first place let us read uh john 1 verse 1 let us read john 1 verse 1 so that we understand what the word of God is. John 1 verse 1. John 1 verse 1. Those with more bio Bibles, please move with me during this uh, live stream. John 1 verse 1. It says, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And, go, and the word was God. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. What does this mean? It means before anything else, kusati kwame ne chinu, kusati kwame ne anything, kwanga kuine shoko, zoreva kuti, everything else, was created out of the word i don't know if i'm saying if if if, if, if it, it it's making sense it means everything else that was created and everything else that was made it was created out of the word it was created by the word it was created in the word and then the bible says in the beginning was the word the word was with god so each and every time you say out the word of God, this word is not going to come out of your mouth empty, but it is going to come out with the authority of God. It is going to come out of your mouth. Each and every time you meditate on the word of God, each and every time you say out the word of God, that word will come out with authority. That word will come out with power. That word will come out with conviction. That is why sometimes you find Kuti um, a preacher may be preaching the word of God and people will start to manifest. Uh, somebody will be preaching the word of God or declaring the word of God and uh, um, some uh, people receive their healing. Uh, people receive their testimonies and their breakthroughs. The reason being, it is not, the word is not coming out empty. It is coming out with authority. It is coming out with power. Why? Because it is the word of God. And if it is the word of God, it is with God. And it is God himself. So each and every time you listen to the word of God being preached, you are listening uh, to the power of God. And what everything that is within you will, will respond not to the words that the preacher will be saying, but to the authority that is coming with that word. Because the word of God will come with God. And the word of God is God himself. So each and every time the word of God is being declared upon your life, it is the authority and the power of God that is being declared in your life, that is being declared upon your life. And for this reason, I know with many of you on Hana platform, you may be saying, right now. right now. Why? Because if you come to my inbox, usually and most of the times, I don't respond with my own words. I will give you scripture. I will give you scriptures to meditate on. I will give you verses to meditate on uh, pertaining your situation. Why? Because I know my own words may not have authority. 
But the word of God has that authority. The word of God is God himself. So in other words, if I'm giving you a scripture, I'm, I, I'm, re, I'm saying um, I'm releasing the power and the authority of God into your life. And if you meditate upon that scripture, umari wavo umari uno buddha, umari wavo umari uno manifesta in your life. I hope it's making sense. I hope it's making sense. So the word is God himself. Shoko ramari ndivo mari pachavo. So pese pa uno nzwa shoko. I know utukuna anu anota aga inda uchecha. Anu da utanga atari sauti. Muna aruku pari za wacho ndiani. But learn to listen to the word. Learn to listen to the word of God. When it is being preached. It's not about the preacher. But it's about the word of God that is being preached. So, I just wanted us to understand that uh, the word of God is God himself. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and the word was God. So, let us see. The Bible, uh, John is saying in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and God was the word himself. Now, let us go to Genesis chapter 1. Because I said, it means everything else that was created, was created out of the word. Zorela Kuti, there is nothing that can be created in your life. There is nothing that can manifest in your life without the word of God. If you want things to begin to manifest in your life, if you want things to begin to happen in your life, if you want things to be, to be created in your life, you have to know the word of God. You have to meditate on the word of God because everything else was created out of the word. Everything else was created from the word. So let us go to Genesis chapter 1 so that we can understand what i mean when i say everything was created out of the word let us go to genesis chapter 1 genesis chapter 1 in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep and the spirit of god was hovering over the face of the waters then God said, then God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. This is now the word of God. Pekutanga, everything else was without form and, and, and it was void. Then God opens his mouth and he begins to speak. And as God speaks, Things begin to happen. God says, let there be light. And there was light. God says, let there be a firmament in the heavens and the waters. Let the waters gather and let there be dry ground and, 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 and bodies of water. And it was like that. Why? Because light was not there. But because of the word of God, because God opened his mouth and said something, light came into being. So, when you want the light of God in your life, you have to, 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 to know the word of God and you have to meditate upon the word of God. When you want God to create something in your life, when you want God to, to, to create something in any situation in your life, you have to give him back his word. Mwarwano makasika everything. Out of his word. Let there be this. That same. That, that same. That same power. Is the power that is in his word. Because the word of God. Carries authority. The word of God carries the power. To create. The word of God carries the power. To, to, to bring into being. Things that were not there. Let me give a reference. Hebrews 11 says, faith is hoping for the things that are not there. Faith is hoping and believing 
for the things that are not yet there. Then the Bible also says, but this faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So if faith is hoping and believing for things that are not there, and for somebody to have this faith, they should hear and know the word of God. So it means, chese chaunga damu upenyu wako, chese chaunga shuira mu upenyu wako, chino no tangira pa shoko. Then shoko roita kuti faith yako ikure. And when your faith grows, the things that you are hoping and believing God for will begin to manifest in your life. So, nyaya zedu zese, zino no tangira pa shoko. Because shoko njora ngariri pope kutanga. Nyangwe isusu tisa titapo. Shoko njora ngariri popa kutanga. Jese jatino ona. Jisa tijapo. So, if you want anything if you want god to start a new thing in your life if you want god to create some things in your life jino no tangira pashoko it will start with the word then the word will will, will, will will nourish your faith and as your faith is being nourished things will begin to manifest now in the physical because of faith Without faith, nothing will manifest in our life. So if you want things to begin to manifest in your life, you should know the word of God. kumutenda. Chikon zero chaita kutivata ze kumutenda. Inya ye kusa ziva shoko. Inya ye kusa tenda mushoko. Raita ura. Because faith yanzi ino uya ne kunzwa. Ende ne kunzwa shoko ramari. Saka even minana ya tino terera. Tichenda kuma profita. Tichenda kuzi church zinenge zanzi. I church ndo iri kupisa mazwano and all that. Why? Because faith. Auna ku connect ne faith. And it's not how to sa connect ne faith. Inya ye kuti shoko. Ramari la chwa risi mauri. Because it's not how to faith ikure. Ishoko. Faith feeds on the word of God. Without the word of God, your faith cannot grow. Without the word of God, you cannot grow in the, in the things of God. Without the word of God, you cannot grow spiritually. And if you, you are not growing spiritually, it means you are spiritually weak. And if you are spiritually weak, it means you cannot fight spiritual battles. I don't know if it is making any sense. I don't know if it is making any sense. But in Tuku Zamakuti, things we see say, Kukosha kwe shoko ramari. Munozati kune wamane kuti. Unoto inda mchechi ine umari wese wakazara. Kana kuto 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 chagamunu wamari ane umari wese. Uri momari. But ugo totaza kuva ipapo ine anything. Why? It's not because munu wamari it's not because but it's a matter of your faith Mamire kuza itike kutenda kukaita kushoma nyangwe healing ino gona kutadza kuitika kutenda kukaita kushoma nyange deliverance ino gona kutadza kuitika I know kuti kune vanhu vari pano vari kuti I have I have been to so many churches I have been to so many maybe my own night there ana I have been to so many services I evangelist but hapana chati chaita mupenyo wangu mubvunzo wangu nasi ndiwe kuti pa mai uya mai uya kunoshandirwa here kana kuti mai uya kunozvishandira because when you, you are coming even to the prayer mountain you should come equipped you should come with your gun loaded and how can how do you 
load your gun. You, you load your gun with the word of God. That Those scriptures are going to be the missiles that you are going to be releasing at the prayer mountain. Those scriptures are the missiles that you are going to be releasing to all night prayer. But if you don't have those missiles, so we should know the word of God. Let me say this. Praying a prayer without quoting the word of God is like firing blank missiles. Jaka fanana ne kunga wakabata futu uchi try akushuda but futi is reloaded. Because my prayers are not found rakuwane reference to the word of God. I'm praying for healing, Lord. You said in your word in Isaiah that by your stripes we are healed. I'm standing on that scripture because it's a promise that you made. I declare the power of those stripes upon my life. You are praying for, for marriage. You go to the word of God. You said it was not good for men to be alone. And you created him and help her. I stand on that word. But because we do not know the word of God, you come dosa kavanwa jinji tino enda ku church kwete kuno zina matira, but tino enda ku church kuno na matirwa, tino enda ku church. Kuno kuno uzwa chiporo fita. Kuna wamu wanu wa singa chacho endi kuchechi fen kuno na matiru wa kwacho. Kuna wanu wa kuenda kuchechi kuno, kuno, kuno poro fitwa. Kuna wanu wa kuenda kuchechi kuno batu wa msoro ne mfundi so vazo kera kumba. Ie pachake shoko ramara aritori mo maari. Aatori ziwe. Saka kuchechi aru kuenda kuti ngama ntina matire. Kuchechi aru kuenda kuti ngama ntipe chiporo fita. But my question is. Even ukapiwa prophecy acho. If kana usi na shoko ramari mariri, mauri. How are you going to pray for that prophecy to manifest? Even wakaenda ku church for deliverance, wa rutsa wao, wa manifesta, the demons were rebuked and casted out. When you go back home, if you don't have the word of God in you, how are you going to maintain that deliverance? Because we can only maintain deliverance if we have the word of God. We can only maintain a, a, a testimony and a, 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 and a breakthrough if we have the word of God. But if you don't have the word of God, don't ah, wait for only a few days. But pasnaka na one week, janga jato, janga jato, chinja futi, janga jato, tanga kuto, kuto minama. But mfunzo wangu ndiwe kuti, ma deliver wa kwacho, ma na matiru wa kwacho, ma ono jaita. Did you back up that breakthrough, that testimony with the word of God? I've discovered that only on a Sunday. And not even Kuriverenga. Vanoverenge was shoko only on a Sunday. Ie pachake chero Bible wa atorina. Atisikuta ora yedu iri. Bible rekubata maoko. Tisikuta ora even Bible. Rem phone rinongo download wa osaro these days. Atorina mfoni make. Ano mirot kana evangelist maita live. Ndiyo pantino mzwa mavesi. Kana ndenda ku church on a Sunday. Ndiyo pantino mzwa mavesi. But ndiruko zizi sanya ye kuti ana. Every ana. Listen to me all those who are connecting to this live stream. Please, please invest. Invest in the things of God. Buy yourself a Bible. Buy yourself a Bible. Have your notebook. Because when we are reading the Bible, it's not just a matter of reading. It's a matter of reading and understanding the mind of God. Pandru kuverenga shoko. Atingo verengi kunge tru kuverenga novel. 
We read the Bible of God. We, we read the word of God to understand his mind. What is God saying? So you should have your own Bible. You should have your own notebook. And each and every day, you should give yourself time. Yekuverenga shoko ramari. Pete kuverenga kwa ngoti. Because evangelists wakati ndiverenga shoko every day. But verenga shoko ramari. Uchage pfungwa zamari kuva mshoko iroro. What is God saying? And a verenga, and a verenga angu. John 1 verse 1. But jiruku mborewe. So, it's, it's something that you should even pray for. Before you read your Bible, pray. God, I'm now opening your word. I want to understand your mind. I want to understand what you are saying. Kuvapane shandisha verenga. Difurire, indi zarure, ifungwa zangu, indi nzguisise. Kutumuru kutichi. For reference, can I talk to the prayer room? Pan and Averenga, Dogona Kuku, Dogona Matan Chichi Chikuna Mari, Kuvapanish and Averenga, can I talk to the prayer room? Dogona Kuti Chikuna Mari, Dichitosera Shokora Wokavari. But many people, they don't even read the word of God. Vano Rerenga on a Sunday, Kuchich. Bible Racha Hatorina. But everybody who is listening to me right now is connected. Please buy yourself a Bible if you don't have. Kanare Kudura, there are so many Bibles that you can download these days. Pama phone. Chingo se chao, find a Bible that you can download each and every day. You read the word of God, especially when you end up with my basa. I know that maybe you're not going to touch up with a Bible, which end up with us. But you always carry your phone with you. Pa lunch, pa pa, wo fura o shako, Bible, rako, wo verenga one or two verses. Ushingo da, ushingo chaga kunzwa kuti marwa kumboti chi, marwa no taura, and God speaks through His word. Nasi marwa kumboti chi, mo penyo angu. And meditate on those scriptures. So I am. Um, that is uh, John one and Genesis one. John one and Genesis one. Now, if the word of God is God, because the the, the the John one says, and the word was God. So if the word of God is God, to dakutari sakuti ivo mari vambori ani. If the word of God is God, we want to now. We 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 need to understand who God is. The word of God is God, but who is God? Kuti tins gwi sisa utkana chiti tita kuverenga shokora mari tu kuverenga neja ni who is God? Who is God? Cheku tanga God is to the Israelites in Egypt. He is the I am. To the Israelites in Egypt, he is the I am. And let me explain this. When God was assigning Moses to deliver the children of Israel out of Egypt, and Moses was saying, God, if I go there, who am I going to say you are? And then God says, go and tell them that I am He sent me. Munozati, my first days in the Saturn Dakuns, we see, sir. I always ask myself, but you marry. Moses are cook of Vunze, Kutikan and Dashika Coco, Donot Murian, even my water hands and down about the Otin Dichava, one Dichava. I am Zurkum Boreve, Kupin to Ray Rock. I always, I would always wonder, but Nekukura, because when we saw, can I marry a chitty? I am Vanishinus Jukuru, Javar Kutaura. If God is saying I am, He sent me to the to the Israelites. He's trying to say, in any situation, Yamucha I am going to avail myself according to that situation. That is why He's saying I am. Zorakuti kanamukashai wa mvura, di chava mvura. Kanamukashai wa mumvuri, di chava mumvuri. Kana mukashai wa chekujga, di chava chekujga kwa muri. I don't know if it is making sense. When God is saying I am, he is trying to say, Zichindra na ne situation, ya unenge uri mairi. I'm going to avail myself as God. To solve that problem, to, to intervene 
in that situation. Kana mukashika pa marriage ya kuvava. Ndichauya ndo ita kuti itapire. Makashika pa mara ndicha shandura mvura dzinovava kuti dzinwike. Why because I am. Dinouya ndo zi avela to solve your, your problems, to, 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 to intervene in the situation that you will be in. So when, 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 when John is saying, and God was the word, and God was the word, it means if we have the word of God, if we know the word of God, and if the word of God is in us, there is no situation that is going to be too difficult for us. There is no situation that is going to move us. There is no situation. Because SMA situations are chawia. God is going to avail himself. If we have the word of God in us, God is going to avail himself. Kuti. Ma gadziri se. Jinenge jinieta panguwa iyo. Then. He is Jehovah Jaire. The Lord God who provides. Jese joji jino fola anda. I am. Jese joku soti Jehovah Jaire. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Shalom. Jehovah Rafa. It all falls under. I am. So the word of God is I am. The word of God is God himself. And God is I am. Saka, ijo so jino fan rakuti uza kuti nyangwe ukava uruwere. Nyangwe kukava kuruwaziwa. Nema situations ya upenyu. Nyangwe kukava kushaya. I am will be. I am will be. But if we know the word of God, if we know the word of God. So, he is Jehovah Jireh, Genesis chapter 22, verse 14. The Lord God who provides. He is the Lord God who provides. Patino shayiwa, jimariwa nopa. Kune wanwa kaenda kunganga kunoromba. Kune vandu wakaenda kunoba. Kune vandu wakaita jinu jisinga fadze mari. Vachichaga raramo. Vachichaga kuti. Vawane. Va, 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 va Chinova raramisa muupenyu. Why? Because they didn't know this verse. Vava singa to ziguti Jehovah is Jaire. Why? Because vanga va singa zive shokorachu. But the Lord God provides. He is Jehovah Jaire. Like I said, it all falls under I am. He is Jehovah Nis, the Lord God who, who have war with all our adversaries from generation to generation. Exodus chapter 17, verse 15. Jehovah Nis, he is Jehovah Shalom. He is our peace. J Judges chapter 6, verse 24. He is the Lord God who heals Jehovah Rapha. Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. Jesus is Shingori. It all falls under I am. And the and kuna John Kovakwanzi. And the word was God. So if the word is God, it means the word of God is I am. In any situation, ya uchapinda, shokorama, pane shokorama. Rino, rino gadzirisa situation yoyo. Pane shoko rama rekutu ukamira pariri. Rino itauti situation yoyo gadzirisiki. Because the word of God is God and God says to Moses, I am. Saka, apana kana situation. Ma situations esa tino sangana na omo upenyu. Asima situations manyoa ni kuna mari. And asima situations asimo mshokora mari. But inye ye kungota atiri ziwe shokorachu. Atiri ziwe. If we knew the word of God would know to stand on it and say mari, you say this in this scripture. I stand on this scripture. Do not just say a scripture yo yi kwa mori. So, um, let us look at um, some of the characteristics of the word of God. Gati tarisei mawe ma characteristics e shoko ramari. Hebrews chapter 14. Hebrews chapter 4, I mean. Hebrews chapter 4. 
Hebrews chapter 4, those with mobile Bibles, move with me. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. And I will read. For the word of God is living. For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. For the word of God is living. Another version says, for the word of God is quick. <coughs> for the word of God is quick. Another version says, for the word of God is quick. It is like a double-edged sword. It is sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow. And it is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. First thing, the word of God is quick. If the word of God is quick, it means if we apply it in our lives, it is going to quicken us. If it is going to quicken us, then we will have dealt a blow to any arrow of delay that we may encounter in our lives. It is quick. The word of God is quick. It quickens us. stumbling blocks and, and some delays in whatever situation. Knowing the word of God will, kick, will quicken you. It will quicken you. This version is saying the word of God is living. Meaning it brings life. Even the word of God is going to bring life. The word of God is going to bring restoration. The word of God is going to bring resurrection. It is quick. It is sharper than a double-edged sword. Meaning it becomes a weapon. It now becomes a weapon. But Pandanya is so far and the word of God descends the thoughts and the intents of the heart. It descends the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Meaning the word of God will bring the spirit of discernment. The word of God will bring the, the gift of discernment into our lives. If we have the word of God we will be able to discern. We will be able to know the intents and the thoughts of the heart and of the mind. Chinoti tazisa kuziva nekunz wisisa jinege shifungwa ne munu at any given time. Inye kuti shokoramari haripo matiri. But the word of God is a discerner. The word of God will bring discernment into our lives. Pane pampe kuti, somebody is coming into your life pretending to have good intentions, pretending to be a good person, but having bad intentions in his or her heart. But you cannot tell, you cannot know those intentions if you cannot discern. Yet the word of God can discern. The word of God will, will help you to discern such things so we need to have the word of god so that we can we can have the spirit of discernment could even munaka uya kwa ura achi pretender to have good intentions but i am a bad intentions you will know it there and then could know this person doesn't mean any good Vana Ruthi wakawanda. Chati konzere sa kupinda ma relationships. Nevan wano dakuti tambi sira nguva. Nevan wano dakuti shandi savoti damba. It's because the word of God is not in us. Neisho koranga riri matiri. Taikurumiza kuzwa kuti no. This guy doesn't mean any good in my life. He's coming to waste my time. So the word of God is going to bring discernment. Discernment is going to help you to discern and know the intentions of the heart and the mind. So that is, um, it is powerful. That is another 
characteristic of the word of God. The word of God is powerful. Meaning, the word of God will come into your life not just as the word, but it will come as power. It will empower you. It will come out as power. That is why Paul once said, I did not come to you with wise words of men, but I came to you with the demonstration, with the demonstrate, with the demonstration of the power of God through his word. So the kingdom of God is not in too much talking, but it is in the demonstration of power. But this demonstration of power comes through the word of God. When the word of God is being preached, when the word of God is being declared, when the word of God is being read, it should come with power. It should come with power to deliver. It should come with power to set the captives free. It should come with power to heal the sick. I know we are an interdenominational group, but those who have watched Emmanuel TV, you, 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 you know, Kuti, sometimes as the men of God would be teaching uh, the word of God, things would just begin to happen in the auditorium. Why? Because the word of God is being taught and it, as it is being taught, it is coming out with power. It is coming out with power to set the captives free. It is coming out with power to heal the sick. It is coming out with power to deliver. She kapa le vore kuti uchi zvivere ngera wega shokora mari zvinhu zvinotanga kuitika munozoti deliverance inofanirwa kuitika even iwe wega uchiverenga shokora mari uchingoverenga shoko kudai receive your healing uchiverenga shoko receive your deliverance zvinhu ngazviitike uchiverenga shokora mari because this word is so full of power the word of god is powerful it is full of power. But Chikonzero, Chinotita Zisaku experience that power. It's because Atina faith. Tinoverenga shoko, but it is in a faith. Yes, Atiru Kuverenga. Tinoverenga shoko, but it is in Ganya to believer. Which is Atiru Kuverenga, Marimano Gona Kujita. But if you read the word of God with faith, power will begin to, 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 to manifest in your life. You receive your healing. You receive your deliverance. So the word of God is powerful. The word of God is quick. The word of God descends. Now, let us read Ephesians chapter 6. The word of God is a weapon. The word of God is a weapon. Ephesians Chapter 6, Ephesians chapter 6, those with mobile Bibles, please. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11 to 13, verse 11 to 13. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against the flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against the spiritual wars of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the the evil day and having done all to stand uh, Ephesians chapter 6 is talking about putting on the whole armor of God now we need to know what this armor is we need to know what this armor is let's read um, verse 16 let's read verse 16 verse 16 above all taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. We said faith comes by hearing 
and hearing the word of God. If you read Romans chapter 10 verse 17, it says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And now the, the, uh, in Ephesians, Paul is talking about putting on the whole armor of God. And he's saying above all, taking on the shield of faith or, or the shield He's saying, above all, taking the shield of faith with you, with, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. So faith becomes a shield. Faith becomes a shield that will protect us from all the fiery arrows of the enemy. But this faith that doesn't just come. This faith I in go away. Faith comes by hearing the word of God. Faith comes by reading the word of God. Faith comes by knowing the word of God. So it means if we do not know the word of God, we cannot put on the whole armor of God. To put on the whole armor of God, we need to know the word of God. And when we know the word of God, our faith grows. And as our faith grows, it means our shield is becoming stronger. Our shield is becoming bigger against the fiery darts of the enemy. The more you feed on the word of God, the more you, you, you read the word of God, the more you hear the word of God, your, your shield will become stronger. Your shield will become bigger because faith feeds on the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and reading and knowing the word of God. Ndosaka vajinjivedu we end up backsliding. Vashinji vedu, we end up takuenda kune zimwe njimbo, kuno chaga help, kusiri kuna mari. Why? Because our faith is just small and it is not growing. And the reason why it is not growing is because we don't read the word of God. We don't know the word of God. We do not hear the word of God. So I'm encouraging you to feed on the word of God. Feed your faith. Nourish your faith by the word of God each and every day. Feed your faith. Let your faith grow through the word of God. Let the word of God be in your veins. Let the word of God be on your, on your lips. Let the word of God be in your thoughts, in your mind. Feed your faith. Let your faith grow by reading the word of God, by studying the word of God. So that is verse 16. Now let us go to verse 17. Let us go to verse 17. Verse 17, verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Now, the word of God is the sword of the spirit. So it means the word of God is the, the greatest weapon that we, we can use in fighting against the principalities, against the powers, against the rulers of the Kingdom of darkness. Ndo pa pandanchi taura pekutanga. Kuti the reason why we are not winning in our battles is because we want to fight them physically. Yet they are spiritual battles. But if you have the word of God, you are going to fight your battles spiritually and you will win. So the word of God is the sword. How? When any situation presents itself to you, 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 you handle it according to your understanding of the word of God. When any situation comes, you know how to handle it, not according to your own understanding, but according to your understanding of the word of God. When the enemy comes in, you declare, 
The word of God says when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of God is going to raise a standard against him. You begin to meditate. No spirit of God raise a standard against my enemy. Raise a standard against my adversaries. You are now giving God back his word. God, there are enemies that are coming. There are enemies that are attacking me. But your word says, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of God shall raise a standard. Raise a standard spirit of the living God. You you, you are fighting your battles using the word of God. No, 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 no. It's the word of God. I will use the word of God. I will stand on the word of God. When, when, things, when things seem not to be, uh, to be well, you just send and declare. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to give you a hope and a desired end. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. That is your word, God. I stand on that word. Even if things, can, can, if, even if things are not well with me. But I know that you have got plans. Not to harm me. But to give me a future and a hope. You are standing on the word of God. You are standing on the word of God to fight your battles. You are standing on the word of God to handle the situations that will be coming into your life. But can I see na shokora chona? Au go ne kuzirwa wondo zacho because unova uza kuti chimari. What are you going to say to God? So you should know the word of God. Mana arwara kati rabadapa. Lord, you said in your word, by your stripes we are healed. Now I command your healing power upon my child. I command the power of healing. I declare the power of his stripes upon this child right now. In the name of Jesus. But how are you going to handle the situation? Mary Ejiavava. You go to God, Mary. Pamara makashandura mvraya ivava ikanwika. My marriage is bitter, but I know that you can make it sweet, just like you did to the waters of Mara. Rufur waneta mumba. You go to God, Mary. Makamaya munyumu mvraya ngai ne rufu. Ika ita upenyu. You declare the word of God in any situation. So that is the word of God. Um, now, verse 17, verse 17, verse 17, verse 17. Which is the, the word of God? Praying always with all... Um, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of of God. So the, I said the word of God is the greatest weapon that we can use in any battle. In any battle. That's why you realize, Kuti, when we are making our warfare prayers and our midnight cries here, I don't just come and say, let us pray. I come here and I give you scriptures. I, I quote scriptures. I quote verses. Then I say, let's pray. Each, each, each scripture will have its own prayer point. Why? Because we are saying, God, in our battles, we don't want to fight with our own words of wisdom, but we want to fight standing on your word. So that is it. Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who builds his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. So, hearing the word of God, Living according to the word of God, living in the word of God is like laying your foundation on the rock. Knowing the word of God 
living according to the word of God and living in the word of God is like laying the foundation of your life on a rock. Zora wakutichi, it means when you know the word of God, when you live according to the word of God, when you live in the word of God, there is no situation that will come and move you. There is no situation that will come and tear you down. Why? Because your foundation is on the rock. The word of God stands as a, as a, as a, as a, as a foundation. And a strong foundation. Mukona ma Christo anoti urwere ukawia ano bata e kuna matanti no na matajang bata isujenge sha kutumboda kutindi mboenda kana kunganga. Foundation, foundation. Apana shoko ramu ari no fan rongeri ri foundation aripo. Mukona mu Christo anoti na mu ikaru anoti he. Je kuna matanda andambo zama, but eh, ah, jinenge shwa kuto doti niti chage, sugar dead, wanonti chengeta, wanonti badari rarenti, wanonti ruki samsoro. Foundation, it's, 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 it's about the foundation. The word of God will give you a strong foundation. Je kuta hakuna namo inouya, ika kuisi rapasi, hakuna urwere unouya, uka kuisi rapasi, hakuna mabeto za nouya, even mumerieji, aka kuisi rapasi, hakuna chinu chichawuya, chigo kumuva kushka pakuti mwara wako. Uka njwa munu, ane situation ineta kutashuke pakuta, ah, I doubt kana mwariwariko, shoko, ishoko, risimo maari, ishoko, rasiri kuziva, but jesu wa kutotawara chiti, wesa anu njwa shoko rangu, akate zera, jandino taura, dino mfana niza, nei mpaya kava kwa, pa, pa foundation ye dombo, ya kuti mepo ino uya igo vuvuta, ma, ma storms ano uya go vuvuta, but they will not move you, because your foundation is on a rock, I'm just emphasizing the importance of knowing the word of God, the importance of standing on the word of God. Do you know, if you know the word of God, if you study the word of God, but the enemy can even come in your dreams and you, you quote scriptures and the enemy will not have power over you. How many of you have had such dreams? Yeah, but the enemy will come and try to, 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 to attack you, will try and come to fight you in your dreams. Then you just quote a scripture and the enemy becomes powerless. Why? Because the foundation is strong. The foundation is strong. Carol, the enemy is trying to attack you. Then you just say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, then the enemy becomes powerless. Why? Because shoko rine ngeriri maori. Shoko rine ngeriri maori. But kanarisimo nyangwe kuope, the enemy will beat you left, right and center. So, it's very important. It's important to know the word of God. Because the word of God is the strongest foundation that you can ever have. And for this is the reason why I was saying, even your marriages right now, you may be going through some storms. The, the, there are some storms that are raging in your marriage. I once gave this teaching and I said, go, go back to your foundation and check. Was, was your foundation on the word of God? Was your foundation in God? If not, then you need to revisit that foundation and lay it in the word of God and lay it on the foundation that is Jesus Christ. So that is it about the, the, the word of God is a strong foundation. The word of God is a strong foundation. That is it about the word of God is a strong foundation. Then there um, there's, um, listen to Isaiah chapter 55. Isaiah chapter 55. Isaiah chapter 55. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. So shall my word be that goes forth 
from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. So shall my word that comes out of my mouth. This is God. This is God who is saying this. It shall not come back to me void, but it shall accomplish the purpose for which I send. It shall prosper in the thing which I send it. So, if you know the word of God, if you quote scriptures, if you quote the word of God in prayer, that word will not come back to you void, but it will accomplish the purpose. It will prosper in the thing for which you are declaring it. Because So quoting the word of God is like saying in any pachangu no gona kutaura, jino gona kutaza kritika. But kananda taura riri ramari. Ari gone kuramba raka nyarara. Ari gone kutaza kuzadzi kisa. Jantine ngenda taura. And this is the reason why one wakawanda. It's Isaiah chapter 55. It's Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11. Femberi, it's Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11. So ari gone kuti ritaura ri gorega kuzadzi kisa. Javane ngevari tuma. I think... Var, 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 we, those who have been on HANA platform, you know this. We, we, we sometimes have a theme for each week. And for, for every theme, there are testimonies that come with each theme. Chikon zero. Ndeche kuti kana mwari wari taura. Kana theme ya chona. Iri in line with the word of God. Mwara wa gwone kura mbaba kanyarara. Mwara wa gwone kutadza kusunurira shokoravo. Because kana waka ritaura, kana raka nyorwa mubaibiri. Rinofan roti kana rataurwa roza zikisa. Zawane nge waka taura. Rinofan roti kana rataurwa roza ma testimony, roza deliverance. Saka kajinji when we have these themes per week, pane pane to ita ma testimony anoitika. Takati vuntunyura wano wano pupura. Takati let fire settle the matter wano wano pupura. Takati God for brass wano wano pupura. Why? Because marava gwone kura mba waka nyarara kana shokora wa rata urwa. Marava gwone kura mba waka nyarara. Vano rishinuri rakana waka rita ura kutivari zadzise. Marivano rishinuri rakana waka rita ura kutivari zadzise. So the word of God, it accomplishes the purpose. Kana rakanzi ndere healing. Rino fan roko akamblisha purpose ye kuhila. Kanaraka nzindere restoration. Rino fan roko akamblisha the purpose ye ku restore. Kanaraka nzirino fan roko unza resurrection. Rino fan roko akamblisha the purpose ye ku resurrect. That is the word of God. That is the word of God. But jino iti kakana tichiri ziva. Jino iti kakana tichigona kuzosera mwari. Shokoravo in prayers. That is Isaiah chapter 55. That is Isaiah chapter 55. Jeremiah 23. Jeremiah 23 verse 29. Jeremiah 23 verse 29. Jeremiah 23 verse 29. Is not my word like a fire? Is not my word like a fire? Tunambo titimbo taura, ma jinoi tuwane moto. Tuna titi taure, jinu jinoi tuwane moto. Kana marwaru kuti, my word is a fire. What does fire do? Number one, fire brings light. So if the word of God is a fire, it means it brings light. That's why kuna mapisare ma David mchinzu achiti, your word is a lamp to my feet. Shokoramari nounza chiedza. Shokoramari is like a, like, like a light. If the word of God is a fire, fire brings light, number one. Number two, fire brings warmth. 
pale pampu kuti moyo moyo unotonora mweya unotonora but if you have the word of god it's going to revive you it's going to strengthen you it's going to to give you warmth pepe kuti you feel like nobody cares ah people don't even care about me i'm all alone the word of god will bring warmth the word of god will comfort you the word of god will bring warmth it will bring healing so that's what number one we said it brings light it brings warmth number three fire purifies fire purifies how could gold knows only it's pure gold without going through the fire so if we want to remove the chaff in our lives if we want to remove the dirty in our lives we need to go through this fire which is the word of god the word of god should refine us the word of God should purify us. Hakuna mu Christo ano zonzu uyu mu Christo ko in develop terms without going through this fire. The word of God should purify you. Ndosa anchi garanchi kuza enchiti kana shoko rika pari zwa. Ukanzwari chita unge rinomu za asha zako. Kana utukanzwari chita unge evangelist wane nguwa kunya toreva imini apa. Kana utumfundi siwa pari za kuchechi. Ovo ozo kira mbo chiti. Haa na siwa nga kupari za inini. Kupari za inini. Nekuti wano zivanya ya yangu. Nekuti wano zivanya ya zangu. Riri kudaku kupurify. It's exactly the word that you need to purify you. The word will come to remove chaff. The word will come to remove dirty. The word will come to remove all the impurities. Vuma kuti shokora mari riku purify. Vuma kuti shokora mari rivise china. Ripepete neku visa china. Mupenyo wako. Aswan ruku kugumpura kana mvangere wakapari za kuti siya chifambi. Aswan ruku kugumpura mvangere wakapari za kuti siya kuba. Aswan ruku kugumpura mvangere wakapari za kuti jineta kunge zirukwe nderana. Nechi vicha urkuita. Why? Because the word will come to purify you. But it's not that and they check with Vajinji. We don't want the purification. Vajinji, we just want the pure God. Without going through the fire. To not go that the end result. Without going through the fire. You have to go through the fire. To become pure gold. You have to go through the fire. To become pure gold. Vuma kupinda ne mumoto. Vuma kutsiuru wane shokora mwari. Ngari no kubaya pamoyo. Riku tsiure. Ngari no kubaya pamoyo. Riku uze kutisha uru kuita jisirizu. I came last time ndichita live. Ndichita I'm here and dokungo tsana ngura. Jume jeshunu. Kwa zinandaona mamwe makome nze mamwe wano. Vuma kutsiuri kane shokora mwari. Vuma kutsiurwa because the word of God is like a fire. It should purify you. It should purify you. Ukanzwari chikuru waza. Iro rorato ramba uchiri terera. Uchi tezera sharu kutaura. Because ndera kocha iro cha iro. Ndora kocha iro iro iro. Iro iro neta utuise ma comments ari rude. Neta utuise ma comments eku popota. Ndora kocha iro cha iro. Rauno fan ruwa kuterera. Ndora kori no fan ruwa kukugaziri sa iro iro. For you to become pure gold. So the word of God is like a fire. Fire brings light. Fire brings warmth. Fire purifies. Then, is not my word like a fire, says the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks rocks in pieces. And like a hammer that breaks rocks in pieces. How many times have you felt like you are hitting a hard rock in life? How many times have you felt like you are, a, you are hitting a hard rock in prayer? How many times have you felt like you are hitting a hard rock in prayer? But 
apa marizao tanzu mbo maona apana kana chiru mbo ita apana kana chiru kumbo chinja ndo paya apa ndata ura nchiti kuna mata kusina shoko ramari kuna mata kusina kukota ma scriptures it's like an unloaded gun firing an unloaded gun why because apana apana mino ndo yashu because God is saying my word is like is like a hammer that breaks rocks in pieces. So pay 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 unona mato chito nge ah urguno rova dombo chimbo traya kuisa shokora mare chimbo traya kuri court of wati mare you say this in your word uono taji chingere the word of God is like a hammer that breaks rocks into pieces. Ma situations are ya ye kuti akawoma. Ma situations are stubborn. Ma situations ye kuti ha unoshe yuti ndo poda se ndo papuku nyuka se yap. Ndo anoda shoko ramari. The word of God will now come like a hammer to break those rocks into pieces. To break those situations into pieces. You quote the word of God. You stand on it. You say God. You said your word is like a hammer. That breaks rocks into pieces. I now come to you with these scriptures. I stand on these scriptures. I stand on these promises that you made. The rocks will break into pieces. The rocks will break into pieces. Because the word of God is like a hammer. The, it means the word of God is going to deal with those stubborn situations. With those stubborn enemies, with those stubborn pursuers, the word of God will do with all those situations. If you know the word of God, that is if you know the word of God. So that is Jeremiah. That is Jeremiah. Um, on that note. Let us... Um, There's a scripture that I wanted to share with you as well. There's a scripture that I wanted to share with you as well. Psalm 119. Psalms 119. Psalms 119. Psalms 119, verse 105. Psalms 119, verse 105. Psalms 119, verse 105. It says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. What? So, Kadzedu, Basare. We want to look at the purpose of our feet. Our feet carry, carry us wherever we go. Kwese kwa tinoenda, tinoenda, tinoende kwa neto Kadzedu. So if the word of God is is a lamp, pane pam pekuti tino gona kuira makomba, pane pam pekuti tino gona kugumburo. Why? Because at this corner, patru kutsika, at this corner, kwatru kwenda, if it's dark. But if the word of God is a lamp, it means it will direct us. Ati gone kugumburwa, kanatine chieza. Ati gone kuira makomba, kanatine chieza. So if we have the word of God, it means even the snares that the enemy is going to set for us, those snares are not going to trap us because we have a lamp to our feet. Even makombat chacherewa, ati gone kuiramu, because the word of God will be a lamp to our feet. So the word of God is a lamp and a light to my path kana if 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 we now have a lamp in our path it means akuna rima richazouya munzira dzedu akuna rima richazouya kuzoti viringidza so that is the word of god is like a lamp to our feet is like a lamp to our feet um but i would like to say this to you you should know the word of god more than the devil knows the word of God. You should know the word of God more than the devil knows the word of God. Some of you may be asking, does the devil even know the word of God? My God, the devil knows the word of God because the devil was an angel. Remember, the devil was God's angel. 
Devo yenge ito mbori wa ngirozi ya imba ozana kudengo. Batika zodona. Nekuda kwe pride. Saka kana devo yanga iri angel. Ino to ziva shoko ramari. But you should now know the word of God more than him. Ask me why I am saying this. Remember the story of Jesus. When he spent 40 days in the wilderness. That is Mark. Let's read Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4. Let's read Mark chapter 4. Sorry, Shane, you shouldn't try to not sing a shakati one. They say, Mark chapter 4, verse 2 to 10. Mark chapter 4. No, that is not the scripture that I want. I think it's Mark chapter. Okay, it's a scripture that talks about Jesus when he spent 40 days in the wilderness. And after those 40 days, Achidzika Gom, Jesa Nambo Tanga Kusangana Nima Angels, Achidzika Gom, after 40 days in the wilderness, Jesu Nambo Tanga Kusangana Nima Angels, Akatanga Kusangana Na Satan. Achisangana Na Satan, Satan Akatanga Kukota, Ma scriptures. Jauno Turima Nawamari, Shandura Chingwa, Chite chingwa kutujike because une nzara. Jesu ndo vati muna arara mine chingwa chete. But ne shoko rimwe ne rimwe. Rino vamuro mamare. I, I just want to show you kuti. The devil also knows scriptures. Kune vanu warikunyi kawako vanoto ziva shoko. Sometimes kudarika ma believers anuenda ku church every day. Kudarika ma Christians anuenda ku church every day. And if you don't know the word of God better than them, they are going to quote the word of God according to their own um, understanding and according to their own evil intentions. And if you don't know the word of God, you are going to fall in for their trap. Kune manu warikunyi kawano ziva shoko kudarika muna anuenda ku church. Saka kana usinga ziwe shoko. Dei jesu wanga wasinga ziwe shoko. Vai gona utadza kumukunda satan. Because haito koto oma scriptures. Kune wanu wacha waya wachi kukotera shoko kuti. Jesu wanga wanu wakashandura mvura pa 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 mchatuwe pa kana ukaita wine. Say mchiti doro harinwiwe. There are people who are so good at quoting scriptures. According to kujavano da evil. That is the reason why I'm saying you should know the word of God more than those who are in the world. You should know the word of God more than the devil. Know your Bible. So it means you have to, 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 to read the word of God every day. You have to know scriptures. You have to know how to fight your battles using the word of God. You have to know how to fight your battles using the word of God. So this is what's just a word of encouragement. Let us know the word of God. Let us live according to the word of God. Because the word of God is a strong foundation. The word of God is a lamp to our feet. The word of God is powerful. It will quicken us. The word of God nourishes our faith. We cannot grow in faith without the word of God. We need the word of God for us to grow. For our faith to grow. And that faith will become a shield against the darts and arrows of the enemy. So I think I hope I've helped somebody. Download your Bible, Rakopa phone, carry your Bible, have your Bible, no garaku office, pa lunch, wearing a Bible Rako, wona matter. Know the Bible. That is that was my message. That was my teaching for today. That was my teaching for today. Because kanochis wa shoko ramari au nye perwe ne wanu. Kanochis wa shoko ramari, you will not go to the wrong places seeking for help. I think many of you can now testify kuti shoko ramari rine jese. Takambu ita a certain week chinamata standing on Jeremiah 33 verse 3 
call unto me and I'll show you great and hidden things that you do not know. And I was saying, I want you to be a prophet or a prophetess of your own life. You should you should be in a position Usinambo wako usinambo nofugama pamprongaanga usinambo fugama kunganga usinambo batwa msoro nemporofita wega uchi zvina matira mwari vachitanga kukuratidza why because it is there in the word of god it is a promise that god made so if we call unto him he will surely show us great and hidden things that we do not know that the reason why vazhinji tichizo pedzira takungo and a kwese kwese inya ye kuti shokora marari mo matiri. But if we know the word of God, if we, we study the word of God, if we live in the word of God, akuna situation ichati ende sakumwe kusiru kuna mwari. Akuna situation ichati iti sautitinye perwe, tirewe tire nema, because we know the word of God. Pane pampoti, if you know the word of God, you know gono to vunza muniti, ah, imimi jama kuita izu. Why? Because you know the word of God. But can I also say this? We are not going to wait to say yes, yes. So when I am I'm encouraging you. Know the word of God. Know the word of God. So that but no sangana pana but shita ma prayers. But no sangana kuma kugomo. Shita ma prayers. But no sangana kuma services. Shita ma prayers. Unukunya so ziva. Unukuna matoka mira pashokora mari. Kwete kuya kuzo shandirwa. But you are connecting. You are coming. We in a faith yakura because of the word of God. Because you are feeding that faith with the word of God. So you are just coming to connect with faith to whatever will be happening. Kwete utu no uya kuzo shandirwa, no uya kuzo namatirwa ayo. Gati zizei kushinamatira through the word of God, standing on the word of God. I... I believe kutipane munu wanda encourage. I believe kutipane munu wanda batsira. I believe kutipane munu wanda batsira. After all that has been said and done, um, I just want to remind you, Kutihana is an interdenominational platform, and uh, we are not at all um, inclined to any church. It's an interdenominational platform. It's an interdenominational platform. Saka, tino, 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 we just embrace everybody. Aripanopa platform. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining me for the live stream. Thank you very much for joining me for the live stream. I hope I know Batsira. If you have got anything to say about this teaching, please just type in comments before we close. Just type in comments before we close. Um, teacher, we will continue with, uh, with our teaching on about midnight prayers i will announce kutirini uh i'm glad that um the lockdown um let's see lockdown regulations have um lightened up a little bit have been loosened a little bit we are talking so those who are in Harare and in areas around Harare, uh, um, I think very soon I'm going to announce Kutiticha Sanga Nakupi for our prayer session. I'm going to to announce Kutirini. Um, God bless you. I love you so much, but God loves you more. I love you so much, but God loves you more. Have a wonderful night. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.